going on, people? People, what's happening, man? You know? You know, like, about to start about to start about that, that trucking business, you know? Just waiting on a few people to get in here so I can have somebody to talk to. They say only crazy people talk to themselves. I say, no, nah, smart people do. I talk to myself all the time because I know the person that's going to answer going to have something intelligent to say. You know? What's going on, people? What's going on? It's your boy, Tunchi. YBETV. Out here ripping and running. What's up, man? Uh, uh, Operation Cash Flow. I like that name, bro. I definitely like that name. I'm definitely digging it. You know? Uh, man, we talking about starting the trucking business, man. I get I get a lot of people that, um, you know, they come. Oh, they call the phone number. They say tune. Lester Austell, what up, bro? What's happening? I get a lot of people that call me. They, hey, tune, man. What's up, bro? I'm trying to get busy. First, ooh, ooh, ooh. First and foremost, well, I got y'all in here. Y'all know I'm about to be out at Myrtle Beach. Y'all know on the 26th of July through the 28th, I'm about to be out at Myrtle Beach. I swear to God, like, I'm about to go crazy. What up, brother Tune? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, but yeah, man, I, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? I be like, nah, hell, hey, you know? But yeah, um, I'm going to be out at Myrtle Beach. It's about to go down, man. We about to go out there. We're going to have some fun. You know, uh, pretty much come out, support. You know, my homegirl, she throwing her name, Trucker Harley. She doing her thing, you know. Uh, David Robinson, for all y'all know, Ghost, uh, I forgot the name of his brand, man. He gonna kill me. But he definitely gonna be doing his thing. Warmest greetings, everyone. What's going on? How you doing? Sweet. Uh, so we definitely gonna be doing that Myrtle Beach, man. Get with me on Facebook. I can pass you off to her. You know, you could book a uh, ticket to the conference. To how expensive is, is it if you put death in your diesel tank and run the engine? I heard that people actually uh, blow their engine like that, man. What up? What have you info on starting a dump truck company as well? Still Hawking is that? Yeah, Still Hawking. Yeah, Still Hawking. Yeah, that's him. He gonna be there. But um, starting a dump truck business, man. Listen, I'm telling you like this: when you start in any business, it's all about structure, man. I always go back to the basics about getting your company together correctly, man. So definitely reach out to me. You already know. Reach out to me. If you want to start a business and you're in the beginning stages, especially, definitely reach out to me because you're at the best point. You could do everything right the first time, man. Like, you just don't know. I'm just starting to get my stuff together, man. My man did that. Appreciate it. Man, I'm glad he did, man. I'm glad he reached out to me if that's what you're talking about. But, like, um, on some real stuff, man, like, okay, like, like, uh, I got you. Let me get to it. But, look, like, this the thing, man, like, Starting a business, for example, let me, let me tell y'all this, this little story, right? I messed up when I started my business. Ain't nobody helped me. So what I did was I went out, I got me an LLC, got my EIN. I felt like I was doing a big. Everybody around me, they didn't have it. So they like, look for a truck, what year should I buy or what kind? Make sure y'all hit me up. When y'all got these trucking questions, y'all need to start hitting me up, man. 1-855-YBETV49. 855-YBETV49. I almost put up 10. You know what I'm saying? It's still early to me. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I started off. I had my EIN, my LLC, and I screwed up. I screwed up, man. I didn't know I was messing up, bro. Like, I went, then I, I got my corporate address, corporate phone number and all that. Next thing you know, I got to go all the way back and change everything. Everything, everything. I had to change everything. Like, and I was aggravated. I was upset. Like, damn, man, I got to go back and change all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, you got to go change this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, people. People listen to me. At the end of the day, man, the best thing to do is to get started correctly. Let me see if I can ask a question, these couple of these questions. But make sure y'all hit me up. 855-YBETV49. Please do not call me right now while I'm live. 
please do not call me right right now. Why, why. Thanks for all the content and your business crash course. Freddie Mandiola. I, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for purchasing it, man. And, and, man, I don't know who you are, bro, but, man, thanks for the support. And I know you got a lot of good information out of it. Make sure you pick up that marketing course, man, because it's definitely worth the... Um, Worth worth the uh the purchase, man. Okay, let me see. Why you have to change everything? Because okay, the reason I had to change everything is because okay, I got my 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 uh business address right, which is as my home address, right? So all my business mail coming to my home, all the urgent stuff, you know, like if I get anything from the company, everything coming up. So I'm like, all right, I need this. So. You know, like, um, I go change my address to corporate, right? Because, like, you get flagged if you don't. You'll get flagged when you're trying to get credit. So, you know what I'm saying? Now, everything not matching. So, I got to make my business match this address. So, I had to go all the way back to the Secretary of State. I had to go to the IRS. I had to go to all these different things and change everything. And then, I end up moving. I'm like, man, so now all my mail, I thought about like, oh, shoot, I've changed all my mail, but then all my business mail was still going to the old address. So I'm like, dang, what am I going to do, man? Like now I got to change my mailing address. So I finally changed my mailing address to the business and I figured it out like, dang, this is a good place to be because now it don't matter. I could move every year if I wanted to. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if I do move, my business address staying the same. Only thing I got to do is call them. Hey, look, forward my mail to my new address. They're like, oh, okay. Like, you changing the system. Bam, 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 bam. All right, it's done. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Click. That's it. I'm good to go. I'm definitely stopping there. They owe me some food. I'm definitely stopping up there. How much money should I have to average after you buy your truck? I don't understand that question. Word, tell me. Tim Fortune, man, hey, shout out to Tim Fortune, Fortune, or I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Tim Fortune, man, this dude was a huge customer, man, like, I definitely want to give him a shout out, I recognize the name, he bought safety vests, he bought, man, like, he bought courses, safety vests, I definitely did his logo, set up his business for him, like, I definitely recognize the name, oh, yeah, man, y'all like the shirt, y'all like the shirt, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, it got the... YBE on it. You know, I definitely got apparel. This the YBE. No. Uh, I got it on the hood, you know. You know, it's definitely, definitely YBE heat up, you know. But yeah, uh, as far as safety cushion, safety cushion. Hold on, let me go back. Oh, safe. Like, how much should you have? Like, this is, let me, let me give you this, right? And then, I'm going to tell y'all this, man. You know I do mentoring, so y'all definitely could get a mentoring package. Look, when it comes to a safety cushion, I'm going to tell you like this. The most expensive part on the truck to fix is the engine. You need to call up there and ask for a step two, step three rebuild. Call up to whoever made your engine or whoever make your truck. Ask them how much is a step two, step three rebuild. If you got that much money in the bank, you should be cool. So, for example, if you got a Volvo and you call up the Volvo, they'd be like a step two is like 15000 three is 18000 Uh, What's, what's going to actually end up happening is you're going to end up uh, getting a step. Well, you're not going to end up getting that. You end up saving up the amount that it costs to get that step three. After you get that... Uh, that amount of money, you should be cool. Because let's just say you go and some goes out like the turbo and it's like 2,500. So you pay the 2,500 and you slowly pay that back. You know what I'm saying? So that's just really it, man. As long as you got enough for the biggest thing that could go out, you should be able to pay for anything else to go out on the truck. Only thing is, is that like you should have at least a credit card to back you up. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got the 25,000, you have about a $10,000 credit card or something. Sit that to the side, man. You will be straight. You will ride down the road worry free. Only time when you get aggravating is this. When you get them bundles, man, like I hate them bundles. I a bundle hit me the other day. I call it a bundle. It's a bundle of problems. Like I um truck went into the uh, freight liner. They call me. I'm like, okay, it's got to be turbo. You know what I'm saying? So I go in there and they say, uh, man, it's definitely your turbo. It's definitely this. It's definitely that. It's definitely this. So I'm thinking a potential eighteen to twenty-two hundred dollar problem turned into damn near six thousand dollar problem. Of course I had to pay it. 
know, like, it's my truck, I had to pay for it. So I paid for it, you know, but it's just the aggravation of it, man. I want to, you know what I'm saying? That money right there, I, I liked it sitting in my account looking sexy. I used to just open my account and just look at it. Just look at that. That's nice right there. I really like that. Those are those zeros are nice right there. And then when it when when it hits you, you be like, oh. You feel nude. You automatically feel no. Shoot. Did it just did you feel that draft? You know what I'm saying? I'm serious, man. Like, it's, it's a trip, man. Like, you know, I'm about to give me something to eat, y'all. I'm starving. I'm starving, people. I'm starving. I'm about to go to Jimmy John's. I want me some junk food. Got me some Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. You know, like, man, this trucking industry, man, is it's crazy, man, when you starting out a business because, like, the majority of people, the majority of people are... Uh, they 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 think that the industry is gonna be like like you know uh friendly to them how you find good brokers starting out I, i'm not a good guy for that like that's that's not my area that's not my area. i can't even i'm not even gonna pretend like i'm not i'm not the guy that's gonna pretend like i know something that i don't like i've never really dabbled in that area so I stay away from it. If you ask me something about too detailed about a motor, like the Cummer, the Cummins, the 2216A, I'm not the guy that's just gonna sit there. Yeah, the 2216A, man, what about it? Well, it defaults when you adjust the, the crank valve. My like, yeah, whole time, I don't know what none of this is. I'm just sitting, the crank valve? Yeah, they they known for that, man. Like, yeah, they they would say readjust. Yeah, yeah, they known for the crank valve messing up. So, should I dehydrate my sensor pump, or should I downstep my two two seven? Downstepping, downstep, man. Look, why well, I don't even know like, how long you been trucking. You ain't know to downstep your two two seven. What's going on? Let me get the uh y'all vegetarian sub, man. The who, the one with the avocado. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's it. I want everything on it. Everything. Yes, and the mo I want you to put the most beautiful woman in that phone number on the back of my sub. Okay. We can do that for you, man. But the fun thing is, uh, it's all guys in here. Okay. Okay. Well, that no, thank you. All right. All right. I love shock value. Don't y'all, don't y'all love shock value. I swear to God. I just say whatever comes to my mind. You know what? Just baby, just you know what? Just put your phone number under my cheese. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm lactose intolerant. Let's well, well, no cheese then, baby. No cheese. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, man. Look, on some real stuff. Getting into this industry is an unforgiving industry. You know. The industry is very unforgiving. You know why? Because it, it's a lot of money. The brokers make a lot of money. The shippers make a lot of money. The receivers lot of make, make a lot of money. The the the, uh, the the trucking companies made a lot of money. The drivers make a lot of money. The people who fix the truck make a lot of money. Even the lot lizards make a lot of money. They just got, how long you been away from your family? Like, man, I've been away from the fam for like three months. Three months. In the back of their mind, the price just doubled. Oh, really? Yeah, huh? Well, for you, I charge two hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just one of them industries, man. So I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just what it is. Mileage or percentage? What's better? I'm a percentage man, man. I'm a percentage man because you know mileage. Eh, you 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 chasing miles, man. I don't like to chase. Only thing I like to chase is women. That's it. Just hey, whoa, whoa, sweetheart, come here, come. Here. Listen, no, no. First off, can I make you an offer? Can I make you an offer? An uh, offer? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm thinking fast as heck too. Just um, dinner, movie, marriage, divorce. Come on, what's up? They be like, wait, what? 
can I be your ex-husband? Sir, what, what did you just say? Okay, let me slow it back down. Dinner, movie, marriage, divorce. Can I be your ex-husband? Boy, you silly. No, I'm serious. Can I give you a call? You are beautiful. See, I like those types of offers. I don't like somebody telling me, uh, I'm going to give you 90 cent a mile. And what else coming with that? Is you going to give me a truck with it? Uh, man, no. Like, the majority of places that pay uh, mileage are really cheap places. They have absolutely no soul. Great content. I went vegetarian going on my second year trucking. I started because of you. Let me read that again. Great content. I went vegetarian going on my second year trucking. I started because of you. That is the most humblest, most amazing, most awesome thing in the world to me. Uh, when, when people... 593. Who? 593. That's it? 593? I'm going to spend cash today. Is it packed with deliciousness? I'm sorry? Is that sub packed with deliciousness? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, so when y'all hiring some women? I'm sorry? When y'all hiring some women? When are we hiring? Women. Women. women? I don't yes. know. Uh, okay, well, just look. I'm going to leave my car so when y'all get some beautiful women up here, I'm going to come and pay them back three subs. What's up, Tony? It was a joke, man. It was oh. a joke, bro. It was a joke. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God, man. No, I'm saying, though, y'all, man. Like, oh, some real stuff. Let me see what y'all had to say. Oh, okay, it was the vegetarian coming, man. Like, man, like, I, I appreciate that. That is the most humbling thing in the world. Appreciate it. Man, have a good day, man. Appreciate it. Like, that is the most humbling thing in the world, man, is when somebody say, man, I made my first 100000 man. I followed your blueprint, and I made the first 100000 I'm like, wow. Wow. You made $100,000. And it's because of you, bro. Wow. Wow. You do loans? <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's how, ain't that how your family be, man? Ain't that? Onions, peppers, and peppers. Every, everything. Everything on it. I want everything. What's that stuff right there in that bottle? Which one? That, that bottle right there, the squeeze bottle. Oh, that bottle? That's just uh, oil and vinegar. Oil, I want that too. Okay. I want that too. All right. How much do I need to start my business? I already have a truck. See, all of these right here, how long have you been an owner operator? Since 2010. I started 2009. I went through training at the end of the year. So 2010 was like my first year being out on my own. And then I uh, I ended up uh, getting my truck. I, I actually came into a lucky situation. I'll tell you about it. Um, I was out. I went. And I went through training. And I actually was coming from a situation where I was okay. I had unemployment coming in. Uh, I had my 401k. Tax time came up. So I had an abundance of money. Like my ex-wife had like five, six thousand dollars in taxes. I had five to six thousand dollars in taxes. There you go, man. I had like ten grand in my 401k. So and I had unemployed. I just felt like I don't even need a paycheck. Like I'm I'm straight. And then I uh finished training and they was like, well, everybody can lease. So I was asking the question, I was like, what's the shortest lease y'all got? They like, um, we got um uh, eight month, ten month. I'm like, nah, y'all ain't got nothing short. They, now they like, we got a year and a half. I'm like, I don't want that. I was like, y'all got anything short? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. I think Jimmy John's be putting drugs on that food. How do this dry bread? And just regular condiments taste so good. Look at this sandwich, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Just it's got avocado. Then they put the avocado on right under the cheese. Uh, uh. Mm. Um. I'm sorry. So I had money. Um. The lady figured it out. She was like, "Are you trying to buy a truck, sir?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, you got $7,000? I'm like, yep. They're like, um, how's your credit? And I was building my credit. I was like, eh. I was like, well, we ain't got to do nothing with that. Well, can you come up with $8,000? i am like, sure can. 
They were like, all right, you stay back. I'm going to take everybody else. I'm going to take the suckers out. That's what I felt like they said. Well, I'm going to... I'm about to go out with these suckers. I'm go live, I get a million phone. Every time I go live, I get a million phone calls. I swear to God. Everybody want to meet me and talk and, and talk about love and hip hop and everything. Soon as I go live, soon as I'm off live and I'm bored and I'm like, come on, somebody call me. Somebody call me, please. Just one phone call. I just want to hit a phone ring. I'm just sitting there going to my settings, going to the sounds, just listening to my ringtone. Like, that's how it sounds. It ain't happened. I wish someone would just call me. You know what? I'm bored. I'm just gonna go live. Do 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 do. For real. Now you wanna call me. I was outside though, so I actually had the money. I put down on the truck. I drove that truck. And at a, at the end of a year and a half, they gave me the title. It was the happiest moment of my life. It was amazing. I was fully erect. <laughs> I know, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking. Please, people, sensitive ears, don't don't be mad at me. I'm joking. It's Saturday. I haven't had anything to drink, so I'm definitely sober. And you know, uh, I was gonna say uh, no. So I got my truck then, man. And that, it's been a journey ever since then. I made a whole lot of mistakes. Like if you can name a few screw ups that a person can do, I've probably done it twice. That's why I give out so much good information because I've messed up so much. So I learned all the stuff, the majority of the stuff, the hard way. Do you still own your first truck? Yes. It's, it's actually the truck I drive. I still have my baby. That is my where well, my baby where well, it's, it's, it's named after a dude. Uh, one of my good friends named Dollar got killed. He got shot in the head. Uh, and since money is green and my truck is green, I named that truck Dollar. Uh, Dollar has been with me since 2010. Um, I've rebuilt Dollar one time because of lack of knowledge. I didn't know about an oil sample, so I ended up rebuilding the truck. So, you know, that's the story of Dollar. Me and Dollar are still close. He still works great. And Dollar has a soul. Dollar has a soul. Mm. Mm, that's good. I'm about to let y'all meet my mama. I'm sad about I love this little thing right here. I love this one. This is one of my, this is my favorite gun. It's small, compact. I love it. I'm a concealed carry guy. I love guns. I'm going to get one more bite. I will take y'all in to meet my son and my mama. Mm. Mm. Uh, Absolutely no sir. It's Dollar Freightliner. Yes, Dollar is a Freightliner. Mm. Mm. Ah. Ah. I still look stupid. Oh, yeah. man. That's my stuff. There he go. There he go. Eh, 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 eh. Hey, Mozzie. Say hey. Mwah. I can't tell this thing. Look back. Dada. Dada? And this is Dada the Tinson. Yeah, Dada can't get you. All right. Put on your shoes. You put on your shoes. You got some pull-ups over there, right? Uh, no. Is it? You got some? Yes. I was about to say. I got to stop the about Wal Walgreens anyway and pick me up. Some active yeah. yeah. activity was tonight. Ma, why you ain't got your case on your iPhone? No case on your iPhone, ma. No, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for my, uh, because I'm going to have to take it back. No, you don't? I don't have to check it off. No, you yeah. should put your screen protector on. What, what, because you don't want to drop it. Wait, what a case at? I'll put it on, bro. What a case at, mom? Can you tell me how to get my credit score up quicker? Yes. Only thing you got to do is hit the phone number, man. 855-YBETV49. I do tutoring sessions. I'll help you with your credit. I'll help you with everything. I help you learn how to change over to a healthier diet. I learn how, I teach you how to, to get business credit. I teach you how to do all types of stuff. You know? No, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually talking to people. See, uh, see all the people coming. See all these different people coming. See, they talking to me. That's what I be doing when I be on my phone when I be yeah. So, are uh, you put on the stuff, Mom? I thought you was going to have them ready. 
Now how much is it? He took his socks off. He took his socks off. Cause he he a terrorizer. And they said hi, Unc. Look, look. Look, they see I said Unc. See, like, see, they said hi, Unc. Who is that? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, look, look. They said, hey, mama. Say, hi, mama. Oh, who's that? Mm -hmm. Chamel Chamelo who? Uh, uh -huh. Chantel Oh, Dayalo. Chantel. She get, is them kisses for my mama or me? Because I kiss back. Don't play with me. I kiss you back. You kiss me, I kiss you back. Don't play with me like that. Oh, this for mama. Kind of that kiss was for you, mama. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back at your sugar. See, that's ridiculous. You know, giving away the sugar. What? Yeah. What? All right, we're going to get back to truck, y'all. We're going to get back to truck. Come on, put on your stuff. I'm going to take this out to the truck. Just let me know. Peek out because I'm still alive. So peek out and let me know when he's ready and then I'll come get him. All right, I'm about to be back. Come on. Go get your shoes on. Boy, this little boy, man, he a trip. How much are you charging for the game? Man, look, it's $49.99 for 30 minutes. It's $89.99 for an hour. And you could break it up into segments. This is what I tell people right here. Look, right. The only reason, first, I was going to just do it for free. Right? I had a manager at the time. <coughs> and he told me, like, Tune, you know how long your phone going to be ringing? You're never going to be able to do regular stuff. I'm like, man, nah. He was like, dude, if you tell people to call you with trucking questions, they're going to be hitting you up all day. Like, man, can I get that free advice? I'm like, but that's what it's for, man. I want to give out the game. It's cool. Like, man, nah, man. So, you know, like, people started calling. I was helping them. Man, I couldn't get off the phone. Like, I'm talking about I'm just on the phone. Hello? Yeah, Rick. And then, it, then the dumb question started coming in. Look. Please listen. Everybody that's been asking me questions today has done fine. Can I buy my big rig and start off on an operator with no experience? That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Because most places want to see. It's, it's not the companies. It's the insurance companies that's going to be like, oh, you just started off. You have no experience. We don't want to insure you. You know what I'm saying? They be wanting to see that you're going through a training program and all that. So it'll be a little bit more difficult. Like, man, I be getting dumb questions. Um, Tune, I love your I love your channel. I'm like, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Listen, if uh if I go out to Wyoming and it's windy, okay, Wyoming windy, and I'm eating a sandwich, should I put pickles? Sir, you called me about some pickles, sir. Like you, you you actually call? Okay, I'm about to start charging. That's Mm -mm, mm -mm. What if I get under someone else's authority? Once again, I'm going to say it again. It's not the company which is the person's authority that you under. It's usually the insurance company. A lot of big companies be able to go around that rule because they're self-insured. Like CR England, they bring you in, they train you, they put you out on the road, but they're self-insured. So a lot of the way they get around that sometimes. Mm. Mm. My business credit, man. I throw it up, man. I really ain't been needing, but so I really ain't been pursuing it lately. But man, I got it up there, man. Like I up the side, man. Other side. Other side. Get your butt out. Okay. She always trying to make me work. It's my off day. Right, Look at Mazi. There you go, right there. Dada. <laughs> dada. Yeah. Dada, okay, you hold this, Mom. Just hold it on me. Okay. I'm just strapping them in, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Semi healthy food to them. Yeah, it's semi healthy. It's. I really don't like the starch and the cheese and the mayo. But it don't got meat on it, though. That's not the same as the one that he's got yeah. in the other car. No, it's not. 
back to the credit. Okay. All right, Ma. We about to pull it. Pull out. All right, so look. Uh, the credit, my business credit went up, man. And I ain't going to lie. It was pretty simple, man. Like, it's not that hard. I had a few people so far. The majority of the people that bought the business course, a lot of them been using it. I had a few people reach out to me when they got their first thousand bucks. Um, that was cool, but like as far as the bigger accounts, the 10, 15,000, nobody's reached back out. So if you've used the business course and you you uh, got 10, 15, 20,000 in credit, all right, mom, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay, well, I'm about to take them to the house. Good, I'm finna hop in the tub and then I'm gonna lay down. All right, mom. So if you did that, man, I would definitely appreciate an update. Bye. Oh, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Oh, bye, bye. Oh, bye, bye. Oh, y'all want that? Mm-hmm. More for me, yeah. Carlo. So, um, I, I actually accumulated a lot, man, and it was easy. Like, when I started the process, I started the process, I started getting business credit, then I started the course. But then after that, I started getting the credit more and more. No lie at all, man. Like, no lie. It's been amazing. Like, man, I just, I, I ain't even used my Sam Cloud Club, Sam's Club card, and they gave me like 15000 What's popping? What's popping? Straight jacket design. Oh, that's my man. He make, he make clothes. Hey, you see this? You see this? And no, I'm not crazy. I was at a stop sign. But, oh, yeah. But, yeah, though, like, man, um, man, the business credit been popping. Make sure y'all pick up the course. Oh, sidebar, the course is about to go up. The course is definitely about to go up. Um, I definitely want y'all to take the urgency, man, to get it. Like, I swear to God, right, this the thing. When I was going through uh, uh, trucking, I didn't have, like, we didn't have YouTube like that. Or if we did, nobody was watching it for trucking advice. Like, man, people right now, it's got it so easy. You got access to a course that's $50. And then a course for marketing, that's $50 that you could bundle for $89.99. I swear to God, do you know how many stupid mistakes that I made that I put on that course to make sure that you don't make them? Like, man, now, if you follow that course, let me show, let me show you the average driver. If they get the course and they follow it, where they would be at? Number one, you have your logo. Yeah. Okay. You have your logo. You have your corporate address, corporate phone number, corporate email. Your email will be set up right. It'll be cold. Like when you send it out, it'll be just like a Walmart email. You have all those things. Then you have your website. You have all that. And you have it have where people can fill out an application. And there's a lot of people like, man, I'm just starting out. I, just, I ain't even thinking about that. This is the biggest mistake that people make in trucking. When you start now, you thinking about today, tomorrow, and next week. When you start out in trucking, you need to think about five years from now. That's why they call it a five-year plan. And you need to start executing things for five years from now. And it don't cost a lot. For example, let's say you call me, you get a setup, right? Uh, you get a setup, you get it done. It's, uh, it's way under $1,000. It's way under $1,000. It's under 700 bucks, actually. But, and that's for everything. And that's for you to have your website for three years, logo, business, email address. You got everything, right? So you got all that. So you be like, all right, Tune, well, I want the setup and I want uh, your marketing course because the business course come free with the setup because I want y'all to know what I'm actually doing. Damn, I should go get some water. Yeah, you want to go get some water? Let's go. Let's go through the store and get some water. Y'all feel like getting some water with me? Okay, we're going to go get some water because I definitely need some water. It's going to be heavy as hell. I'll do it later. So I, right, so you get uh, so you get the business course, the the uh, setup, and you get the business marketing course. Now you get all this, all of it for under seven hundred bucks. You say, man, you know what? I'm gonna blow this seven. I'm gonna blow over seven hundred bucks. Give me ten t-shirts too with my logo on it. So you do all of that for way under a thousand bucks, right? Swear to God. Now you you in a position where you starting to set it up. You get your business cards made. You got your business phone number. You got your corporate address. You got your email address. You got all these different things. You marketing your business right. You doing all these things right. So now 
you just posting it on Facebook and people ask you, are you hiring and this, this, and this. The whole time you say right now, we don't, even though you only got one truck, you tell them like, look, we ain't got, we ain't got trucks available right now. But when something opens up, I'll definitely give you a call. Go to uh, www.ybetransportation.com and fill out an application. Now, you only got one truck and you still trying to think about how you going to pay this one off, right? Swear to God, right after that, you know what happens? People start filling out applications. So now you get this truck paid off. You got about 10, 15 applications on file because it took you two years to do it. And 10, 15 applications in two years is not going to be big. And you just telling people the website, go fill out an application. 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 So now you say, man, it's about time for me to get a truck, man. I'm about to go get me another truck, man. Forget it. I made good money with this truck. I got the title of this. I got an abundance of money in the bank. What can I do now? You go get another truck. You say, man, I like this truck, but give me a second. I'm going to do the checks on it. Give me a second. About next Monday, I'm going to come back. I swear to God, right? You go and you pull those 15 applications that you took over the last two years. You call the first three people. They like, oh, no, I'm working, man. The next person be like, man, I got a, uh, I got my own truck. The next person say, I'm leasing. The next person say, man, you just don't know, man. Oh, man, man, I just was about to leave this company, man. They cheated me out two paychecks and blah, 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 and this, this, this. You be like, all right, well, uh, when do you think you be the orientation? I can be the orientation. All right, well, this is what I need you to do. Send me a picture of your ID. Send me this, this, and this. I got your application. If it's anything need to be updated, I'm going to send it back to you. You get, I'll give you that extra page. You can update it, blah, blah, blah. They say they do it. They jump through the hoops. You tell them half and half on the ticket. You say, all right, well, what I could do is I'll pay, uh, I'll pay you the ticket back. I'll reimburse you for your ticket when you uh, get ready to get up here. Send me, when you get ready to get the ticket, I get everything in motion. They say, all right, man, I this, this, and this. You say, all right, cool. They send you an email with the ticket book. You be like, all right, cool. Well, I got you ready for orientation, everything good. You go up there by the truck. You got a person before you even got the truck. You could do it that way. You could do it any type of way. You could go get the truck. Or let's say you bought a truck cash. You buy the truck cash for like twenty three, twenty five thousand. You buy something nice. Guess what? Now you already got somebody for you. Got 15 people you can call to see what's to it. By the time you get to number eight, you to fill that truck up. You like, man, now you got that truck on the road. It's making money. You still making money. Like, man, I might give me another truck. Now, guess what? Off the marketing course. You take some information off the marketing course about running the ad. You run the ad, you run blah, 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 whatever is local or whatnot. I'm definitely going to add that to the course today about local uh, local ads and things of that nature. I'm going to add that to the course for free for people who get the course. So you get that, you run the ad. Now you got more people that's applying. Now you got more applications to go through. I'm telling you, people, take full advantage, man. Like, don't be cheap. Matter of fact, be cheap. Be cheap. Be cheap. Because I swear to God, my prices is killing everybody else's prices. And the quality of the work is great. I swear to God, look, right? You getting websites all, you getting websites, logos, voiceovers, phone number, the person to do it, all of these things for under seven hundred dollars And that's for everything. And that's for you having your website for three years. And you're not paying me the $700. Oh, no, sweetheart. You're not paying me the $700. My fee ain't nowhere near 700 to do it. That's for the people that you're paying for their services. That's for the people I'm going through. That's for ABC hosting and DEF uh, domain names. That's for them. Mm. Mm -mm. Man, I'm telling you, man. People don't understand, man. This industry... It's not about getting ready. It's about being ready. You shouldn't have to get ready for nothing. I bull stuff you not, man. You should not be having to get ready for anything. You should already be prepared. Well, uh, proper preparation prevents poor performance, you know? So it's time to prepare. I get that a lot, man. I get a lot of people, you know, like, a lot of people call it business line. And they say, well, I was thinking about doing this, this, and this. And, you know, like, they trying to get their stuff together. And then you start telling them, like, man, get prepared. Don't get ready. Stay ready. Exactly. Exactly, man. Like, I'm not, like, I ride around with my gun. 
Not because I'm looking for trouble. Not because I'm seeking out trouble. Because if someone tries to attempt, make an attempt on my life, I don't want to have to get ready. You run up on me with, with a knife and you all drugged out. Well, I, do I supposed to get ready? Oh, you know what? Wait till I get home. I'm going to fill out an application for my gun card. Man, take these couple stabs right here. Give me your wallet. Man, you run up on me with a knife. I'm like, ah, no applications necessary. If you want any smoke, continue to come toward my car. If you don't want no smoke, turn around about face and go on about your business, homie. Go on, I ain't gonna kill you. I ain't gonna call nobody. Find something to do with your life. Just don't come this in this vicinity with it. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. It's about being ready. No smoke at all. No smoke. I miss the no smoke. I don't want no smoke. And I'm definitely ducking all the smoke as much as I possibly can. But if smoke was to arrive ready for smoke, hey, I'm prepared as well. We can have a smoke out. <laughs> Seriously though, like man, that's what it's about, man. It's about protecting yourself, your family, and your legacy. And do this right, man. I cannot explain to you guys enough about doing this right the first time. You know, uh, that's what it's about, man. Straight up and down, bro. Hey, what it's about? I bet that. Speaking of smoke, people. I have a lot of stuff, man, on my on my website. You definitely can call everybody in here. I want you guys to call and put a package together. And I'm going to do this today. If you're not satisfied with what I give you for today, and if you own this live, I want you to bring this up to me. I want you, after this live, I want you to call 855-855-YBETV49. 855-YBETV49. 49. Y B E T V 49. If you are not satisfied with what you get, I will give you your money back. I swear to God. And as you see, I go live. I'm not blocking nobody. People are open to people. My customers that bought things for me come in here all the time. Like, man, I love my shirts. Man, that hoodie was dope. Man, I swear to God, man. Hey, hey, that business course was the stuff. Man, I love your marketing course. Like, man, I prepared that a one-stop shop for business owners on YBETV.org. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I did that, and I did it in a way. When I figured, when I did the site, I was thinking, like, what can I give people that I wish I had when I was coming out? I would have loved to have YBE transportation shirts when, when I was out. And then getting them in a bundle in high quality. I love it. I would have loved to have all those things. But now it's like, man, like, you know, like, I want to put this out for everybody else so they don't have to go through the hardships that I went through. Because I went through a lot of hardships. A lot of hardships, man. And I would have wished that I could have said, you know what? Dang, this guy on YouTube, he... He, uh, he got good, good information. You know what? I swear to God, you know what I would have did if I had access to me, to myself. When I first started out in this industry, if I would have had access to myself, I swear to God, you know what I would have did? I would have took that mentor and I would have treated it like a lawyer that I had on retainer. I would have been paying that dude every month for an hour, at least an hour per month. And I would have had him on retainer. And I just would have been calling, hey, what's going on, Tune? Uh, look, about to go in and go get this oil change, man. Should I get an oil sample? Yeah, get an oil sample on every oil change. Why should I? Because, like, it's only, what, well, $18. You won't miss it. And if anything was to start to go up, if any of the levels start to go up, you will actually see it. And you will get it in the beginning stages. Anything with your oil is like, look at it like cancer. You want to catch cancer early, right? Yeah. So it's $18 worth your peace of mind. You dang on right. 
get the oil sample, bro. Anything else? Yeah, bro. Look, I'm up here, man. I got this, this, and this. Should I get this fixed at the T8, man? Or should I try to go somewhere else? No, it would be better because that part right there is known to go out a lot. So it's better to go to the T8 than it is to go to any other place because are you over the road? Yeah, I'm over the road. Because if you go to Hank's Trucking and Auto Repair, if that part malfunctions and fails, even if Frank's Automotive Repair and Trucking Repair is a stand-up place that's not going to try to beat you out your money and tell you a million reasons why they can't fix it, you still got to get your truck all the way back there to fix a $400 job. Man, you right. Or you're going to end up getting it fixed somewhere else. Uh, Dennis Ivy, I never say that my amount of trucks because I got a kid's mother that drags me to court. For every $15, I make extra. Just soon got 15 more dollars. Can you prove it? Well, he went live and he said that he he got a new hat service. And I and I know two people who bought hats from him for $7.50 a piece. Oh, really? So he made that $15. Yeah, he said he made $15. Oh, yeah. Next thing you know, I'm getting something in the mail. Just uh, you need to change your child support order to this, this, and this. We have a court date. I don't do it. Social media, I never talk about anything. You will never hear me talking about my earnings unless it was at the time that I was with my ex. Anything else, please don't ask me about my earnings, how much money I make. Any, I will tell you about other people's, but not mine. I, I don't want to be in court no more. I'm tired of court. Now. And there's always the same judge. Always the same judge. And for some reason, that judge does not like me. Just you're a truck driver, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, huh. yeah. I don't like you. I don't like you either. Same way I feel. I swear. I swear, like, man, listen. At the end of the day, I just feel like it's unfair because I take care of my kids. My children are at my house right now. I bought both my daughters a car. Now they need something to call me. I still got paid for child support. And I pay the majority of their uh, expenses. So I, I refuse to go back to court so I could pay more. No, uh-uh. No, not going to happen. No, thank you. I'll take my CDL test May 14th when I get ready to buy a truck. I'm getting that package. Listen, what did we just say about getting ready and staying ready? You don't have to buy the package. You can listen, baby steps. Listen. If you're going into any entrepreneur industry, what you do is you're going to get a, a skill, right? But you can start learning now, right? So you said May something. Let's just say you went and bought the business course today, right? You say, you know what? Or you get the bun. You say, you know what? I got a couple dollars. Instead of buying them L1s this weekend, I was going to get, ah, I just call it. I just get these two courses. You get the two courses and you say, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of all the things that I can do right now for free. The little leg work that I can do for free between the two courses. So you take advantage of that. Then you say, oh, you know what? I do got an extra $50. I'm going to take advantage of this part of the checklist from the business course. I got that done. And you knocking things out. By the time May 1st comes, you got your logo. You got your voiceover ready for your phone number. You got all these different things. You got all these things prepared. For cheap. Then guess what happens? You get your truck, you go in, and they like, okay, well, we got to pay. Uh uh, stop. Right there, sir. They be like, uh, what, what do you mean? Before I sign this lease, I'm signing this lease under my company name, not as me. You got an LLC? Yes, I definitely do. Didn't you just graduate out of trucking school? I did. Wow. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, okay. They gonna be looking at. Okay, okay. Well, do you, do you have a sale? No, no, do not put that on a part of the application. That's my sale number. I want you to use my corporate number. It's a vanity number. What is it? Uh, uh, 1855 Trucking. I don't know if that's seven numbers or seven levels or not. Just act like it is. Oh, okay, wow. All right, yeah, and you can put my corporate address down too as well. Wait, sir, did you just, didn't you just graduate? Yes, I, I just explained that to you. Yes, I did. All right, and um, do you guys do decal stickers here? 
Yeah, we do. All right, well, I'm going to send you guys the PNG file so I can get my decal on my uh, my lease truck today. So you, you you want your decal? Yes, I, I have my uh, my logo right now. For real? Yes, I do. Okay. So it's going to be a different level of respect. Sir, how did you learn all this? Don't worry about that. Just have it done by 12. Like this dude. Swear. I swear. They look at you different when you have your business set up. All facts. All facts. It's different, man. It's different. Like, do the business first. Do the business. Okay. I swear to God, I'm going to give you the true example. iPhone 11 iPhone 10, iPhone XS Max, iPhone 7, Android. Now, I am an Apple fan. I got Apple all types of stuff. So I watch leaks. I already know how the iPhone 11 gonna look. It's gonna have a square camera in the back. You know how I know? Because I watch like everything Apple Pro, right? Because I keep up with all the Apple stuff because I'm an avid purchaser. You know how they find out what's the design? They pull patents. A lot of these places that's doing these leaks on these phones and you get to see how these devices look way before they come out is because they watch the leaks. And they leak it through the um, patent office. So basically, Apple puts out patents, they do all the business first. And they put in 10, 12, 15 patents. They put in a patent like, we might try this, patent it. Uh, we like the triangular count, patent it. Uh, we like the, the up button on the downside, patent it. We like strippers with meaty hips, patent it. You see what I'm saying? It's always the business end first. Then, you know what I'm saying? You get your business in order, and then you what's the name? Like, you, you, it's like business is like oil in the pan, then cooking the steak. You know what I'm saying? You do the, you get your business done, and then you cook your steak. Otherwise, your steak gonna stick to the pan. See what I'm saying? Example B. You go, and you get a truck. In your name. Now, this is a big one. Make sure you pay attention to this. And this should motivate people to call 855-YBETV49. Swear to God, this is a good one. Because I know people just... Okay, I'm not going to say people. It happened to me, y'all. It happened to me. Forget y'all so... I don't care. I screwed it up. Look, this is what I did, right? I missed the tune. Yeah, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Which, which name you want this truck in? Cartoon going to me. Let me get that, right? So I'm happy. Let me, yeah, you already know. About to get this truck. Then I started getting the game. They like, that was stupid. You need to put your truck in your business name. So they told me the yeas and nays. I was like, dang, I do really need to do that. So I paid for the truck and I paid the taxes on the truck. Now the truck cost me 40 some thousand dollars, okay? And I had to pay taxes on 40 something thousand dollars. Okay. Now, guess what? I go to the BMW and they say, how much did you buy the truck for, sir? I was like, no, nah, I'm just changing it over. Uh, I just want to take it out of my name and put it in a business name. It was like, okay, okay. How much you buy the truck for, sir? So I'm trying to be gangster like, man, I pay, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, man, I paid 30000 for it. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I think 30000 40000 for it. That woman came back and was like, all right, well, we got everything, and you owe $1,573 to change up the place. You have to pay the taxes. I'm like, wait, no, I'm just switching it over. He was like, yeah. I was like, okay, I'll be back with a different number. Okay, let me, let me go get the money out the car. So I found out that day.
I f I'm sorry, I found out that day that if you buy a truck and put it under your name to switch it over, you have to sell it to your company and your company has to pay the sales tax on that truck. So I was about to pay, I had to pay sales tax on a truck that I bought twice because I did it wrong. Check into it. Check into it. Your trucking company is you. It's separate from each other, right? So, in the eyes of the state, you're not switching it. You're selling it. You got to pay sales tax. Again, as I said before, get ready or stay ready. Mm. I know. It's delicious. I'm about to get ready to go. Everybody keep calling me. and making me feel like I'm important. I'm not that important. I'm not that important. I'm important to him. I'm important to you, Kato. Yes, that dad. Yeah, I'm important to him. I'm important to him. He tell me that all the time. Like, Dad, you're important. You're important, Dad. Huh? Oh, that was good. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. That was a piece of lettuce. Thank you, Cotty. All right, look, before I go. For real, Cotty, this is what we're going to do. You're going to do you see yourself in the camera? Okay, listen, people. One thing I want to say is this. Anybody coming into the game, the info he's giving will save you a fortune. I swear. People, 1-855-YBE-TV49. Call me. I will put you together a package that is custom to fit you. I will not try to oversell you. I will not try to do none of that. You call me. I'll put you together a package. And what they what they do, fam, what's going on? I actually, Japif, he actually been following me for a while now, and he's got a million things from me. Waiting on the vest. I know you just put in the order this morning, bro. Give me a little while. I just look. Just give me a minute, bro. I swear I'm gonna make your vest. I'm gonna make your vest today. Matter of fact, send me your logo again. I'm just gonna print it new. But like, like him, he came in. He said, "You know what, dude? I'm gonna give you a shot." Um, I'm gonna work with you. So he took a chance. He said, "Let's do the setup." So I set up all his business. No pressure. I know, bro. Japan, you ain't really, you ain't ever been a problem, bro. Like you have not ever been a problem, bro. Like you a great customer, man. I really appreciate. Hey, you a great support, man. I definitely appreciate you. So Japan, he came in and he he gave me a shot on the setup. So I set up his business for him. I did a logo. No, no, he had the logo. I lied. I apologize. I lied. He had his own logo. He actually had his own logo. I did everything else though. I set up his business, set up his email, set up his uh, phone number, set up his uh, website, and his website is pretty nice. Put it up, JP, put it up, put up your website so people can look at it. I set up his website. I'm all set up, but I still need to reach out to you. Island Trucker, have your business, I'm here. So I set up everything for him. And he was happy, like this is a dude, like he is not ashamed to tell you like, listen dude, I love the work I got. So, he loved it. That was great. I enjoyed that. So, you know, uh, you know, you see how that. Yeah, I, I really like that. So, make a video of becoming a successful freight broker, please. That's not my area of expertise. But you could definitely come out to the uh, meet and greet that's going to be in Myrtle Beach. Uh, it's going to be actually people that's actually freight brokers out there. And uh, the, the seminar is only like 20 bucks, I think. It's going to be in Myrtle Beach. Daddy. It's going to definitely be popping. Mm. Mm. So listen, people, the people, I set up everything and he called me back and said, Tom, July 26th through 28th, you can go on Facebook and inbox or just call me. 855-YBETV49 and I'll give you the information to my homegirl or I can send you the flyer to like an email or something like that. But I'm on, uh, I'm on, on in my newer videos that I'm about to be putting out, uh, I'm going to be putting the flyer and I'm going to be promoting it because 
We gonna straight clown out there, bro. bro. You already know we gonna go crazy out there, bro. So, man, listen. I set up all this business for him. I did that. Then he called me back like, Tone, give me some shirts, bro. I'm about to spend some more money with you, man. So, I put his, his logo on some shirts, sent it out to him. He loved those. Now, he called me this morning, woke me up out my sleep. Now, Japheel, he got my personal cell number. Like, this is my dog. You know what I'm saying? Now, we done made a friendship now. So, you know what I'm saying? He called, hey, Tone. I'm at low. Yeah. I'm wiping slot. Like, man, um, I need one to invest, dog. I'm seeing the money for the vest. I'm like, all right. Give me a vest. I'm like, all right, no problem. So I got to do his vest for him. So, man, it's just, man, let's get to it, y'all. Let's let's do this. It ain't about the money for me. It's about growth because for, for me, it's for people like Japheef and other people like that that's actually, you know, that's 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 able to grow with me, man, and and able to take advantage of everything that I got to offer, man, and just going on the site and just shopping or or just calling me and let me put together a package for you, and they get it, and you just see the growth. Like I see Japheef go from where he was at to he got his truck, he put his logo on the side of it, his business is established. I see him in the next three, four, five years actually having his logo on a bunch of other trucks and being set up and doing different things. Well, you know. He can continue to grow. So, like, I love to watch that, man. I just love to see. Like, I feel like that I helped to plant a seed. It's his seed, but I actually helped to plant it. And being able to say I had something to do with that tree right there after it's grown and become strong, like, that's my biggest reward. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely enjoy that, man. I hope you guys enjoy me like I enjoy y'all. I can't keep Kato in this car all day, and I got to go in the house and my other kids. in the house tear my house up most likely thank god it's cold you ready to go in the house mozzie let's go see what the other kids doing forget it let's just go in y'all you ready to go in the house mozzie oh you done took your shoes off Oh, come on, man. Like, you can't. Now I gotta carry you. God damn it. You took your shoes off, boy. This is the stuff I'm talking about. Come on, let's go in. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, let me, let me show y'all some stuff, man. Let me show y'all some stuff. This is my son's clothing line. He has snapped. Let me see. Uh, turn this thing around. Look at that. Chill, YBE. Oh, he snapped on that. That's the hood? Oh, I like this. This a ring of tea, too. He snapped on this. He been down there making these himself all day. Let me see that. Wow. Okay. Okay, Swino. You shouldn't have you shouldn't have did red glitter. You should have did like black. And I regret it when it's like this. This would look cold too. He had to sleep. This is his clothing line. Why you looking like you cold, man? This look cold. He snapped. And he created it. He did all the work. I didn't help. You cut all this yourself? Wait. Oh, okay. So you did the... Okay. So that ain't even got no backing. So what you do? Take a bigger one? You know how you uh, you was like... You actually made like a small one? Yeah. And put it inside the big one? Yeah. That was smart. That's really creative, man. That's pretty creative. Like he snapped. He making all his school clothes for himself. So, only thing I got to do is buy him some pants and some shorts. So this summer, that's all he gonna be wearing is his own brand. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, man. Entrepreneurship. And I've been teaching my boy entrepreneurship. So he sells and he make them for himself. So one more again. One more game, look at that. 
It's dope. If y'all want to make an order, man, y'all can put in y'all order. I like this one. This one cold right here. I'm definitely about, I'm about to take a video of these and put it out. Hey, but man, I'm about to go. I'm about to sit back and chill with the family. So, y'all enjoy y'all day. I'm about to enjoy mine. Make sure y'all hit my line. We're going to put together a package. 855-YBETV49. I'm about to go. Enjoy y'all day. Talk to you later.